morning, you guys, or whatever time of the day you're watching this. Actually, yeah, it's probably not morning for most of you. Um, but welcome back. Oh my god, I swear this dog, he wants to go in, he wants to go out, he wants to go in, he wants to go out. Every five seconds. Um, so before we hop into the rest of today's vlog, I I've been thinking a lot about what I am going to wear once I go back out into the normal world and I'm like, oh my gosh, I wouldn't even know how to get dressed like for dinner or what I would do. And I was like, you know what, it'd be fun to kind of just style a few outfits to kind of ease back into that life whenever that moment does happen in the case that we do need to go somewhere. So uh, I thought I would kick off this vlog with a little like haul and styling segment. So I got in a few new pieces from Misguided and I thought, sorry, I think my fly's down. I would show you guys kind of how I would wear them either super chill still because we're not gonna be doing anything crazy, but also, you know, in the case that we get to go out again soon and need some cute outfits. So kind of how you can wear the pieces both ways. Okay, I came in to interrupt Hunter while he is working. You wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> and uh, this is the first outfit. These jeans, I actually just took a picture in here because I feel like I match his office really well. They're these balloon style cream jeans. I love them, super baggy, chill. They're kind of like perfect for summertime. And these are size two. Normally I would probably go for a four, but the two was good. Like they're very, very oversized. So definitely go down. And I feel like they'll be so cute. With like bikini tops at the beach rolled up with like flip flops, um, but also can be dressed up. So I'll show you how I've dressed them up. Did you want to be in the hall? You didn't tell me. You got to let me know. Okay, so yeah, as I was saying, um, so in love with these. And just the creamy beige color is like my dream for everything. So. I just love them so much. So here they are, just like a full view. Really cute, right? Okay, so I also have these heels from Misguided, which I'm in love with. They're like a creamy lace-up beige color. Oh, and they're gonna look so good with this for like a going out look. So I would just add these. Okay, so here is the lace-up sandals for heels with the jeans. And then I took this really cute cardigan from Misguided. I've had my eye on this for so long and I finally got it in this order. It's so flippin' cute. It's like a, kind of like a teddy material, but that putty beige color. And I feel like if you're wearing a crop top, just really cute to throw over like a little cardigan like this. It still keeps it really relaxed and cute, or you could totally go for like a leather jacket. Um, let's try that. A leather jacket just makes it feel a little bit more city or urban if you, depending on like the setting or where you're going, but really, really cute. I love these jeans. I feel like there's so much you can do with them. They're amazing. All right, one other way that you can wear this cardigan and kind of dress it up because there's a million ways you could wear it down, just literally like this with sneakers. Um, but with heels, it just looks really cute. It's kind of like a little top. It's really casual and comfy, and then you've got the strappy heel just to like, you know, make it a little bit more dressed up, but it's still summery and cute. I am obsessed with this look. I think this is like a really cute, summery kind of date night or dinner look. Okay, here's the next piece. This I've also been waiting for to come back in stock. It's gorgeous. It's this slinky material bodysuit and it's v-neck and I love the tank thickness. It's like a medium thickness, not too thin or thick. It's so beautiful and it's just really flattering. I'm not wearing a bra or anything. It just kind of hugs everything in and it's so cute just with denim shorts. I feel like with these um, beige boots just for daytime, it's such a cute chill look like even with a little flannel over it or something it'd be super cute um so i love this for just like walking around really relaxed and then also got in this beautiful oversized like putty jacket from misguided that i think is so cool and I love oversized leather jackets, if you guys know, and I feel like this is just the most unique color ever. It's my favorite color. It's like beigey gray, 
and this is just the coolest jacket ever so i feel like for nighttime if you want to throw on this jacket and then maybe like a pair of heels let's see here you could do like a little sandal flip-flop for summer it's just really cool vibe that um makes it feel a little bit more dressed up but my favorite thing ever is to wear these over like an oversized t-shirt so i want to show you what that looks like too because it's also a really cute way to wear it so this is one of my favorite wear ways to wear like an oversized leather jacket in the evening um i have some cycling shorts underneath but getting like your biggest biggest graphic tee um that's really oversized and basically wearing it as a dress and then putting this over top with a pair of strappy heels i think is the cutest way to kind of like style this because it makes the jacket more of a statement and um i don't know i just think it's like a very effortless way to um wear a graphic tee and like an oversized jacket to make it like almost more i don't know it's just the very me outfit i love it so much and i feel like this is the cutest thing to wear all right a few little easy pieces that look super cute just with biker shorts for like more of an athleisure look this really cute kind of boxy white style zip up long sleeve it's like a half zip sorry this is string half zip here you go and it looks super cute if you just throw it over a sports bra kind of as a cover up after the gym but also would look really cute just like with denim shorts and some gold jewelry or something to kind of dress it up as a tee or with a pair of heels and some skinny jeans like black ripped that would be really cute all right another super cute chill piece is this little cropped sweatshirt which i am loving these are kind of like i think they're calling them university style graphic sweatshirts they're kind of 90s they're coming back in and these look cute literally with so many things sweats cycling shorts but um with denim shorts as well so you can just see how like relaxed it is and with a couple of necklaces it looks really cute and just with this, some sneakers i'm sorry my dog literally could not care less about this haul right now um with like my converse it's a really cute just kind of day chill look and you could see just subbing in like some cycling shorts and slides is really cute it's just really comfy and i love the kind of graphic on it so really cute comfy piece another really cute piece is this little knitted bodysuit which is so me it's like this mauve color gorgeous and gives that really relaxed feeling again so cute with denim paired it with my beige boots and i think this is like a really easy just like relaxed summer spring vibe you could also just do regular jeans that would be super cute too but just see how pretty the color is it's like that beautiful lavender beigey mauve and has a couple of buttons really cute summer vibe all right and last piece of course last but not least is a pair of sweatpants this specific style from misguided i've really been wanting to try but they were sold out for a while and they just came back in stock and i'm pretty sure these are their like oversized 90s style i just really love the band that they have and um, and there's something about the material that I really, really like. It's kind of thicker. I just like the fit um, a lot. So these are a size four. They're really pretty gray color, really unique and like neutral. And I just think they're really pretty. All right, so I hope that gave you guys some ideas on how we can start to get dressed up again, but also use these pieces right now for some really chill, comfy outfits. And I'll have everything linked down below with the sizing and everything that I showed. Everything that you saw in, in the little session will be linked down there. And I also have a discount code for you guys. So I'll put it here on the screen that you can use on Misguided while you're shopping. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. Let's hop into the rest of today's vlog. Sit. Good morning. Sit. Someone's getting Sit. there. Sit. Oh, Sit. <laughs> he's like, lay down. Sit. Paw. Paw. Come on. Paw. <gasps> That's so oh, good, mister. You go take it to your secret spot. <laughs> the secret spot over here, as you saw on Goose's morning routine. It's your secret spot. That is your secret spot. Sorry, we mess over here. Sleeping with 
someone in my bed But you really got me thinking I might like it and stay You the dream I dreamt last night like magic Brought your last to life and now I'm waking up some baby Are shaved and I couldn't figure out you know when you live with someone and you can't really spot the difference no, like you weren't even looking at the difference you weren't even look you weren't like oh what's going what's different I was like hey did you notice I shaved huh <laughs> <laughs> yeah. it's like when you see someone every day you almost like forget so I didn't even realize I was like oh you shaved and I was like when was that he's like I don't know when she was, was like it? I was like what I think I, I was like I shaved Friday and she was like oh you were at the lake yesterday without facial hair and I was like I don't know you just posted a picture of us at the lake together did I have facial hair in it and she was like oh <laughs> Whoops. Dips. I just can't remember. Um, I don't know. It's kind of like when I get my hair done and like, you know, you can't really tell. I can though. Because I like come back from the salon and it's like I was just there. You know, it's very, it's like mm. if you went to the barber and you came home, it'd be I, like, oh, I, I think I just shaving. like, I, I pay attention though. Whatever. All right. Today's Monday. We uh, took the weekend off a little bit. We, went we, to took, a, we took a nice weekend break. Are we like it was camp? really good for us. Yeah, it was good. We went to the pool one day at my parents' house. They weren't home, so we're like, let's just go utilize their pool. Yeah. We did that, and then we went to the lake yesterday and utilized their boat. And got some sun. Got Felt some sun. really nice. But it was so good. We're back to the Monday routine. We're trying to kind of reset. We're going to start with a workout. We've got to get groceries. We've got yeah. to clean, clean up we haven't, the hospital. We haven't showered this morning. All we've done is drink our coffee. We didn't yeah. show that part. We caught up on some like emails, discussed like what the day looked like, what the week looked like, things yeah. we got to do this week. Um, and then brushed our teeth, made our bed, and this is where we are. Yes. Yeah, so we we're going to do a walk first with Goozer for a little warm up. And then I think we're going to do like a full body full workout. Body workout. And we need it. Get to work. We didn't work out this weekend, so it got to like. But yeah, honestly, like moving. a lot of people, they always like to, re or they, a lot of times people request, oh, like give us like a Monday morning, like how to get back into the swing of things. And it's sometimes easier because we work from home. It's also sometimes harder because you work from home. And yeah. I think everyone's experiencing that right now because everyone's working from home. Yeah, you just got to create the structure. But like even today, it's like, oh, I don't know if I'm like really feeling a workout. And like you're sometimes you're not feeling something. It's like, oh, I don't know if I really want to go on a walk. But when you do it, you're like so glad. You got it. Or like it, after yeah. a workout, you're so glad you did the workout and you feel good just the rest of the day. Yeah. Um, and so yeah, I would say that's like a tip. I don't know if that's motivating at all, but just like know that everyone everyone has like doubts. No one's like, Oh, I'm so excited to work out, I can't wait. Yeah. I mean maybe people are like that. We're not some like people that. that are like that really high energy level and they like need the outlet, but I feel like most of the time you kinda gotta push yourself. You almost like crave the the like the after post feeling. Yeah, 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 after yeah. feeling like knowing that like, oh I just worked out. And that's why it's good to work out in the morning, at least in my mind. Same. Because then the rest of your day you're like, I got that you over. You had with. like a victory. You're like, I did that. Like sometimes working out at the end of the day, you're thinking all day long like, Oh, I have a workout later. Yeah, that's what I think. You know? I know. We're making sure you have enough time for it or something like that. But anyways, we're going to jump to it. We are going to jump to it. Goose is ready for his walk. He is just all up in here. Just waiting and waiting waiting. While we're filming, this is what the view is down here. So we're going to take him on a walkie and then we're going to do our workout. On Sunday, yesterday, we did, uh, we do trivia with her family every Sunday on Zoom. Oh yeah. And yesterday was... <laughs> Yesterday, oh, our yesterday was our day to make the questions, and one of the sections we did was for Vishla's Noah. We did a good Noah. Theme. Mm -hmm. That was cute. Yeah, there's a lot of Noah questions. What else we got going on this week? That's it. I think we should just get going. We're just going to bring you through the day. A pretty normal work week. <gasps> it's the beginning. This is the first week of my quarter, and so it's usually pretty slow in sales at the beginning of a quarter. Yeah, I feel like you kind of get like a couple days where it's like really chill because you just ended yeah, just and ended and like no one wants to like, get a little break it's like a it's like a grind the last week or two of a quarter like hard like stressful yeah and we happened to tack on vlog week with it so it was like even that was more a intense <laughs> but um yeah this is like a good little break week feels like all right let's get going we'll bring you on the walk step <sighs> number one let's yeah. do it 
is a mess We don't have a lot to do today, don't need to get dressed And you hate it when I'm leaving, but no need to be stressed Because I think I might just spend my whole day here Making room for someone always felt like a chore With your body wrapped around me, I can never get bored Now I'm deep inside your ocean and I can't see the shore But I don't care anymore Pit stop at home. We just dropped off our phones. We're leaving the camera and we're gonna go do a second lap on our walk, but we're gonna run it this time. I'm honestly scared. But it's gonna be a good little warm up before our workout. I feel like we need it to kind of get the blood pumping. All right, we just got back from our run. Good like a little warm up. Goose is tired. Uh, a good warm up for our workout. So now we're about to work out and do a full body BBG workout on the sweat app we've talked about before. And so we're just getting set up. It's tough today, I have no energy. I woke up so tired, so dead. And I'm trying to push myself through because I'm hoping if I work out, it'll give me some energy. I'm like, oh, I feel so sluggish though. And then like when I'm doing the workout, like I tell myself like, you're so tired, like you can't do this. It's really bad. Like I talk like down when I, I know I need to not, but I don't have any good methods for that, like breaking through that mental side. So I'm trying, but it's tough. All right. Scrolling on my phone, trying to fight comparison. I want to be great, now I'm seeking out attention. Yeah, we all want to be loved. Sometimes we end up hurt by the ones that we love. Insecurity's killing me, anxiety mentally. I'm trying, but physically, I'm losing my energy. These voices yelling at me, take them out of my memory. Reminiscing, it triggers me, man, I can't go back. That was a hard one. I feel a like hot one. you get nice and fatigued and like, I feel like I should be more, my muscles should be more fatigued. Yeah. Like, and I can't Well, I feel like you go at a nice pace. I just go like really hard at the beginning and then I'm like dead. It's probably good. It's probably supposed to go hard. Whew. Okay. Well, I do feel better. I feel better now. I mean, I'm glad it's over. It's like, <laughs> like in the sense that we're not work, work, working on later. I know. I so actually feel like now I'm in cool air. I want to shower. I want to get like some comfortable clothes on. Yeah. And like get to work. Yeah. All right, proud of you. Proud of you. Y'all can do it. Go get it. Go get it. It's hard when you're tired, but it makes you give, give, wow. Can't clearly speak. I'm like, <laughs> well, honestly, just go do something. Like, we didn't really have to go walk, then run, and then work out, but like, he felt good, and like, go good do one of those Monday. things. Go walk, go run, or go work out, or. I feel like a mile run is like a good accomplishment. Yeah. Just if you could run for 10 minutes. Like, take a, take a break on your lunch break, or get it done in the morning, or yeah. something, but we're gonna go shower and get dressed and start the day. Okay, I'll see you soon. Julia is always the first one to shower after our workouts. I just like, I gotta got get the sweat off. Oh, it feels so good. It does, huh? How was the shower? Did you take a cold shower or warm? Uh, lukewarm because it was so hot out there. It's 90 degrees outside. Why our faces are so red. Um, yeah, I can't decide if it's good, if it like gets you more in shape working out in the heat or what it do makes, you, it makes you sweat more, which is good. Makes you sweat more for sure. But I also feel like it makes it harder. So like, I want to make sure I'm doing all the exercises right. I just felt so fatigued today and like tired. I was just my goal was just to keep moving for like 30 minutes. I just wanted to keep go, like have movement going, even if I wasn't like to, doing the push-ups as perfectly as I could because I was so tired. But it wasn't even like a tired, like, oh, my muscles hurt. It was like a, I literally want to take a nap. Like, I just felt tired the whole day. So, <sighs> yeah, maybe I just will take a nap later. Maybe I just need one. Now I worked out and everything. Okay, um, skincare time. I'm going to do, actually, 
do glow peel pad first. I've done one of these in a few days. I usually do them about I do them about every other day. I don't like to do them every day. Okay, moving on to Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. get dressed put some comfy clothes on alrighty workout is done I'm making us a little smoothie so I've got a banana one and a half bananas in here a little bit of a berry mix some ice cubes because I want it extra cold because it's so hot out and then we have some strawberries left so I'm literally just gonna throw all these in I'm not even cutting the tops off because I don't care I eat them anyways so it doesn't really matter to me Gotta make it taste nice and fresh. And then, gonna do some kale and some organic coconut milk. I find that if you keep smoothies kind of like one uh, theme, so like I always use a banana as like a base and then just kind of going with like a berry theme or like a mango theme or a, um, pineapple theme you know it's kind of like tastes better when you have kind of a one track going on so I'm gonna do some of my um nutso butter it's so good super liquidy so you can just like drink them kind of like juice Perfect. So, alrighty. Bigger one to Hunter. Let's try it out. Y'all, I'm so tired. Oh my god. And my face is so red because it was super hot when we were working out, like 90 degrees. My face already gets, gets red, kind of gets red when we work out, but it's even worse today. Mmm. Pretty good. Nice and tart. It's refreshing. Oh, my hair is still drying. And now I need to get to work. This face, oh my god, I'm like toasting. Okay, I need to gain some energy back. I'll be back in a second, I'm sorry. I like literally just wanna take a nap. So tired. Alrighty, I'm about to go to the store and I'm just wrote out my grocery list. You guys have seen a million times how I plan my meals and everything. I posted my grocery list on Instagram, but I'll show you guys obviously what I'm um, getting, but doing lots of light lean proteins and fish and turkey with veggies and lots of like bowls and good stuff. So um, I feel like we've been getting into like a good pattern of eating healthier meals at home and we're gonna stick with that this week. So um, I made my list, just wanna show you what I'm wearing really quickly. Some Maritzia biker shorts, these are like a stone color. And then this t-shirt, that I will share more about soon, but it's basically a $5 shirt. I'm obsessed with it. 
ordered online. I probably a medium would be the perfect length. Um, I got a large, but I ordered these as sleeping shirts actually. And they're these shirts I used to wear in college. And I have one that I've had for however many years I've been graduated from college. Let's see, six years. And it's my favorite shirt in the world. I'm sure you guys have seen me wear it in a lot of vlogs. So I'll show it to you, but I basically ordered, I found the brand and just ordered more of the t-shirts just plain. So I'll explain that later, but, um, and then my golden gooses and I just kind of dressed it up with jewelry. I don't have any makeup on. I'm just so tired. So, um, my bag and this is a very casual little grocery outfit. Okay, so got my list. I always bring my little notebook and we're ready to go. Hunter's gonna stay here and work. Alrighty, everybody. Julia is at the grocery store. I've been working all morning since the workout and shower and stuff like that. I am on my lunch break right now and I figured, uh, we had our smoothie a little bit ago, um, but I figured I would do a little bit of clean out. I really want to get our house like cleaned, not just how we normally tidy up, but like actually cleaned out and I don't know, since I started working on my office, it's been kind of in a stagnant mode where like we have, this has been kind of like a catch-all room for a while. Like part of one of my desks has been in here, like file cabinets as we like do some furniture in here. Um, I'll give an update of like what's going on in here at the moment, but um, wanting to get some of this out of here. Not all this is gonna be in here. We were just like testing a few things and I was doing some like paint touch-ups and it's just a mess right now. I'm gonna paint the windows black actually at some point. I'm picking out like black steel and glass doors for right here as well as one for the uh, closet area getting i'm ordering a light fixture uh it's actually like a gold light fixture that i really like a lot uh for right here and getting some shelves for behind me so still not sure like what i'm going to do about this file cabinet this file cabinet piece down here was actually part of that desk in there as well as like this piece right there and not sure if it's going to stay in here or not. I really wanted the file cabinet in here. And I really like the look of it. But, I don't know, this is place, it's getting a little too crowded right now. For uh, what I like. But, anyways, like, this is definitely, like, the vibe I'm going for. Like, these chairs I got recently uh, from Restoration Hardware. I ordered them, like, six months ago. And they just came in right when I was wrapping up my office. But, like, this vibe along with, like, this here. You can kind of like see like tied in with the wood floors like this is like the palette right here um, and I'm not using this gold mirror here this is one of Julia's mirrors but I was testing the color gold in here with like everything else since I was trying to debate on whether I was going to get a silver light fixture or a gold light fixture and I feel like I already have like enough steel and metal and although gold is metal too I feel like it adds a different vibe and I really like the gold uh, accent it adds to like that color palette right there so I'm going with gold I'm about to order it here in a little bit um, and obviously gonna get like a white rug in here as well, but I didn't mean to take you on an office tour We'll do that again some other point in time when it's more prepared and cleaned up But uh, my whole point is saying that ever since I started this project The house has like been kind of a mess just because I've been using this to like walk through In and out of this section to my garage where my saw and all my tools are uh, Back and forth through here. This has been like a catch-all room for like paint touch-ups, part of my desk is in here. Um, just all kinds of stuff. Like I'm ready to clean this-ish out. Okay, so that file cabinet that I told you about. The file cabinet, I don't know if I ever, I don't know if I ever showed you on the vlog what that looked like. I might have, it was like a file cabinet with this piece in the corner. It's like a triangle piece and then another wooden piece that all went together. So it created like a corner desk piece. Um, I'm not using that in my office anymore just from like a space standpoint, but I still really like the pieces. And so I think temporarily I'm going to set them up in my workshop or like in my garage. I should make it like a, a second office, if you will, like a place that I can be out there and obviously like work in the garage and do like my woodworking or any like projects that I'm working on have my stuff out there but also have like a desk that's in the garage if like let's say I'm wanting to build something or do a project like a place I can sit down and like draw out my work I know it kind of sounds cheesy uh, right now but I don't I want to keep these wooden desks for like future home um, I just really like them a lot and they were expensive so I'm not just throwing them in the garage I'm not gonna like 
screw them up with them being in the garage. I just think it would be like a really cool setup in there uh, until we move into another house or something like that. So anyways, once again, rambling on as, as I always do. So yeah, it's coming along for sure. I'm excited where it's at right now, but I'm even more excited to wrap it up and show you guys the finished product. So anyways, I'm gonna get to cleaning up and we'll see you in a little bit. Okay, just walked back in from the grocery store and I'm going to load up the fridge. And I think I'm going to just be showing recipes and stuff on stories this week and I might do a little what I eat in a day. They'll be posted somewhere, most likely on stories. I don't really know, but I'm gonna unload the groceries. Kept it kind of simple cause um, we had a little bit of food already. But I remember I was young, didn't worry about a lot. We just had a lot of fun. Crazy how time go past. What we thought was forever, man, it didn't mean last. Now my mind racing. I'm thinking about the moments I felt complacent. Yeah. Won't let depression fill my brain. I am stronger than the old me somehow overcame. Can we like still on the same page for a second? Yeah. I thought we were. I mean, yeah, I just. Like. Are you ready for like all this shit to be cleaned out in here? In the dining room and hallway? Well, yeah, and okay, then I'll, I can just film tomorrow. I'll film tomorrow. What if I'm at the ranch though? That's fine. Are you saying like it's either we eat tonight and we film or you don't film? I'm just, it was like kind of like two different approaches. What's the approach tomorrow different than how you It would be a get ready with me for the day and like with an outfit and everything and I could just be like. And you can't do that still? I mean, I could, I just don't really, like, it doesn't really go with the flow of the day right now, you know what I mean? And do you, do you want to still have Mexican food for, for dinner? Or we can make something else. Do whatever you want. We should probably cook that meat. Yeah, it's good too. We should. We need a bowl, but I don't really want to make something. Are you in a bad mood? No. I know you're tired. I'm like, this is so tired of what I'm like. Then take a nap. I know, but don't. Just take, like, give your body what you need, what it needs. Yeah. Yeah, let's just go. Why don't you go clean? You just clean. Why don't you, why don't you listen like an hour now? I will. I'll, I'll, I'll do that. I, I just like, I, it's important for me to, for that you to be happy. I know. I know. And I, I feel know. like it's like you're in like a weird thing. Or, like, I'm, I'm not. I'm just, I'm just really tired today, but. about that I got at the store. One is this is salmon poke bowl. I love salmon. And this is like my dream meal. Lettuce, salmon, avocado, rice. Oh, so good. Cabbage. Um, so I'm excited to have this. I might like eat half of it for lunch tomorrow or something. Um, so very excited. And they had these freshly made in the sushi section. I didn't, I've never seen them before, so I was really excited. Um, I also got my famous grandma's hummus. It is Texas uh, brand of hummus. And it's so good. And to go with that, I always love getting like a little cracker. I'm such a cracker person, I love them. I got these um, Simple Mills veggie pita crackers they are mediterranean herb are they gluten free um i feel like they'd blast that everywhere if they were i don't know anyways i'm gonna dip a few in this hummus for a little snack basically what is on the menu tonight is these little Mexican fajita bowls kind of salad style Basically, I've been trying to kind of just do bowls every night like a different theme where we have like lettuce and vegetables as the base And then we layer like a protein or something and sprinkle a little cheese on top and I feel like it's a really good combo 
to kind of switch up flavors to basically have make sure that you're getting a ton of vegetables in for your meals so I've really been liking that so tonight we're gonna do kind of a Mexican theme on that and then I also have a version that's like the pesto turkey one that I showed you guys in a vlog previously I will relink it below if you guys missed it it's so <coughs> so good um, and then I'm gonna do a salmon version this week with like veg also and maybe like a kind of um, Mediterranean style one so like feta I might sprinkle some pita chips on top do olives tahini you know red onion that kind of vibe and I'm sorry if today's vlog is like I am so tired today you guys like I don't know what's wrong with me I just you know some days you wake up today I woke up and I was I could just tell like I slept till 10 o'clock and I felt like I had gotten like hit by a truck like I was just so exhausted and I didn't really like I did a lot of relaxing stuff this weekend but I don't know if it's like what it is but I just needed a lot of sleep and I can just feel it through my body the whole day like my energy is just not really increasing so I'm just gonna kind of take it easy that's why I wanted to go to the store just get groceries I was like I just can't like be on right now and like you know really work and do like emails and stuff so I just need to like take care of household stuff and um, make sure that I get all that ready for the week and I'm hoping tomorrow I'll wake up with a little bit more energy so in the storm my only anchor is hope hard to believe when doubt is telling me no man i'm speaking to the masses but i'm talking to myself